Hi, Bill Kasky here, author of Same Game New Rules and founder of the Sales Leadership Academy. As a run-up to our launch the 1st of August, we're providing you some videos. Now, if you haven't already opted in and gotten your sales leaders checklist and access to these videos, make sure you go below after the video is over and it'll take you to a page where you can opt in. There's 12 checklist items here that we think are essential for every sales leader as they up their game uh, as you inspire and instruct your sales team. In today's video, we're going to talk about how do you inspire your sales team. You know, Robert Hogan, who owns a company called Hogan Assessments, which we use in our work coaching people, talks about how 65 to 70 percent of the people, when they leave a job, don't leave because of the job, they leave because of the manager or their leader. And whether you believe that or not, that is really an, an accurate number after study after study where people are asked when they exit, why did you leave the company? As a sales leader, you're responsible for inspiring your sales team. So in today's video, we're going to give you three tips that will start you on the path to becoming more of an inspirational leader. Number one, we think you need to start thinking about mastery. Not only you, but also your team. The question is, are your sales people, or the team that, that you lead, are they mastering their profession? Is there any discussion about mastery? I know there's discussion about pipeline and funnel and how many cold calls people make and whether they're accountable for the results and all, and I think that's fine. But until you start talking about mastery, you're going to leave people in, a, in an at least or position. You're going to allow people to exist in their comfort zone. When you start talking about mastery, you're going to extend that comfort zone. People are going to look at different ways to do things and different strategies to take and different ways to think. So my advice to you is start to bring up this concept of mastery in your next sales meeting. And even if you do nothing but just start to make a list of what is it going to take for this team to master the business, to master the results. I think by introducing that concept, you're going to have people start to think differently about their profession. Step number two is, in inspiring your team, is find a cause. And I always look at that and say, find a cause bigger than themselves. And I don't think this is necessarily about, well, the reason I work is because I want to provide my family. I'm looking for a cause within your organization. So if you represent accounting services or represent really anything, find the reason that that thing, when purchased by your customers, really improves their life or improves their results. Have a cause bigger than just making money, and I think you'll find people more inspired. Number three is 2x. And I'm going to say here, 2x your results. A lot of times, people get in their comfort zone. Not a lot of times. They always operate in your comfort zone. And I bet you if you looked at, say you have 10 or 12 sales professionals reporting to you, chances are 80% of them are in their comfort zone. I find one way to get out of the comfort zone is to have them double their results and then build a plan to get there. So if one of your sales folks is, is generating $750,000 a year in business, and what you would do is you would say, what's two times that, 1.5 million, and then brainstorm with them, probably individually, on how they can accomplish that. Don't make that a forecast. Don't make that part of the plan. Just start to think outside the box. What happens is when you have a number of twice what you're doing now, it causes a whole different level of thinking inside the brain of the salesperson and in your brain too to help them think of new ways to prospect, new ways to close business, maybe new ways to advance and expand the business within the current client base. So this 2x results idea is one you should do with each individual. Again, not to put it on the forecast, but to at least start to get their mind working about significant improvement. And if you start to talk about mastery as part of, part of the strategy that they will use to improve their results, find a cause that's not just money related or not just customer related, but something is within them, and also do the 2x results exercise, um, I think you'll find that people will start to expand their comfort zone. After all, that's what you're after. Everybody's existing in there. You want to get them out of there, and that becomes very inspirational. So I hope this video has helped. Once again, if you haven't already accessed the sales leaders checklist, which are 12 tips to elevate your skills and your team's results. Make sure you go to the link below, click on it, it'll take you to a page, and that way you'll get this and you won't miss any of these videos in our series. See you next time.